Hey all here at OS Reviews, throughout the years we've checked out a number of novelty, fun LED lamps. As a quick refresher, here are a few recent examples, including the EP Light. Then there's the folding paper lamps and book lamps, followed by the 3D illusion lamps. Well now it's the end of the year and the holiday season is upon us, and we're going to take a look at one of the newest interesting LED lamps to hit the market. It's a moon lamp. As the name implies, it's designed to imitate the moon, and it's actually 3D printed in this particular model and sells for under $20. Now these lamps have been pretty popular recently, and they come in a number of different sizes. Some of the smallest ones, which are keychain size, are really cheap, just a dollar or two, and then they go up from 3.5 centimeters all the way up to 15 or 16 centimeters, like the one that we have here today. So inside of the packaging, we have a wooden stand, which looks really clean and artistic. This is for displaying the light because as a ball it will simply roll around if it isn't popped onto a stand and then we have just the lamp itself which we'll take a closer look at in a moment we'll dock it on top we also have the charging cable which is using a proprietary kind of round plug uh, after being charged up it will last for upwards of 12 hours before you need to recharge it again it actually includes a ac adapter in this particular model that we picked up there's also a remote control in this particular edition, which you can use to change the various colors of the RGB LED bulbs. So it doesn't create only a yellow or white color. It can also strobe through reds, greens, and blues. Immediately, we can see that it is indeed 3D printed. If we look very closely, you can see kind of the spirals to create the various layers one by one. So it is actually using like a 3D printer that you may have if you are a DIY hobbyist. On the very top here, we have the port for charging, but it's also a capacitive touch sensor that can be used to turn the light on or off if you don't want to use a remote. You can see some of the craters and shadows as you're pointing it across the light. It does look quite convincing. So now if we want to turn it on, I can simply tap on it once, and then by default it starts off in this red color. You can actually change the brightness also directly using the sensor by long holding on it for a few seconds, and that will actually make it dimmer or make it brighter if you hold for a few seconds longer. It's not the brightest light in the world, so this is still meant more as a mood light, something to add a touch of color or ambiance in the dark, as opposed to something for reading purposes. This is a blood red moon, which is very dramatic. Tapping on it once, it will turn green, so this is not really like the moon anymore, but it can go through some of the other colors. And I can tap on it again, it will actually turn blue, kind of like the earth now in this particular mode once again, and it will turn white. This is the mode where I think it looks the most like the moon. You can kind of observe some of the small details and craters going on. Let's dim the lights completely, and this is kind of what it looks like. Right now we are in the medium setting in terms of the brightness level. So tapping again, it actually turns a faint yellow, which also looks pretty convincing in my opinion. Um, it still resembles the moon. So we can tap on it again. It will now turn a turquoise color. And then if we tap on it again, it will turn a violet color. Again, these are a bit more exotic, but not really like a moon anymore, more like a LED sphere. We'll also reach a color mode, which allows us to go into a transition effect, where it's just going to keep on flashing between the various colors that it's capable of producing, uh, which is pretty cool. This is a very abrupt one. And once more is another kind of slowly transitioning effect, but this will go through um, some of the other colors without turning off in between the transitions. So this is my personal favorite out of all of the transitioning ones. Um, it's very subtle, but it goes through, again, all the colors of the rainbow. The remote control basically does the same thing as tapping on it. You're able to do things like change the brightness higher and lower, turn the light on, we can turn it off, and it uh, is pretty responsive. It's an IR remote, which means that you should be pointing directly at it for it to work. If it's uh, pointing in the other direction, it's not going to be as sensitive. We can also do things like change the colors individually whether it's red, um, you know, greens, blues, and so on and so forth, you can control it one by one. The white light button will reset it, and here is kind of the other transition effects, the flash mode. We also have the strobe mode, and then here we have kind of the gentle fade mode. So that's more or less it for this quick hands-on video of the 3D Mood Light. Again, it's something that you may have already seen floating around on the internet. It's pretty popular, but another cool novelty lamp which I wanted to add to our collection of other lamps that we've checked out. Out of the bunch, I think this is one of the coolest ones just because of how similar looking it is to an actual moon uh, under the white light mode. It just looks very elegant, as well as having the built-in remote, a built-in battery, and all of these features for a relatively inexpensive price of under 
$20, I think could be a worthwhile night light, mood lamp, or even a gift idea again here in this holiday season. So if you are looking for something that's a bit unusual, an interesting gadget, this might be worth a closer look. This has been the 3D Mood Lamp. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.